Hey guys, what's up? Back here, and I uh, thought I'd show you a pretty cool feature of this Holy software. Um, right now it's uh, May 18th, 2018, so I'm starting to kind of come into the hotter summer months, and I've noticed a few things on the days that we had the sand and winds here that um, I'm getting slight detonation or pinging um, only at certain engine temperatures. So, um, if I'm actually, my engine's running cool, uh, I don't get that pinging, but, uh, I'm actually running, uh, 26 degrees, uh, total timing at wide open throttle. Yeah, and I only have this at wide open throttle, or under heavy, heavy load. Uh, sometimes, like, when I go into, maybe, like, uh, uh, overdrive, it might do that a little bit, but not too much, but, um, so, yeah, mainly this happens, it's, it's, I'm actually... I, the whole timing situation is, uh, I mean, it's at 26 degrees right now at wide open throttle. And uh, what's weird is when I had my, my car was carbureted a long time ago, I used to give it a lot more timing. I mean, I used to give it like 33 t uh, degrees timing, but way in faster with the carburetor. So I don't know with, with the fuel injection, just it's way more precise and, and kicks in a lot faster. I mean, you definitely have more control because you can go over the table, but... Um, sorry, I can be kind of lost my train of thought here, but okay. So the reason for this video is to show you this cool feature. Um, so it's under spark and it's under modifiers here. So if you look here, it says timing versus coolant temperature. Um, so what's cool about this feature is I can actually modify the timing. I can either add or remove timing based on my engine temperature. Um, I actually run my truck a lot of, a little bit hotter than most people. Uh, I have a 195 degree thermostat in there, and I don't turn my cooling fan on, you know, via the Holy software until about 205 degrees, and then I kick it off at about 195. Um, uh, the reason why I do that is because I want uh, the the Bronco. I, I I don't drive my F250 around the neighborhood very much because it's not good for a diesel to do a bunch of start and stop and go driving. So I do my uh, I. I kind of use my Bronco for kind of like daily driving, you know, stop and go stuff. So I want the thing to heat up as quickly as possible. And I want to run it hotter to burn off condensation in the oil. So if you never get your engine oil up hot enough, you never burn the condensation off and, it, and it's bad for the oil, you know, you don't burn any of the impurities off. So, um, yes, yeah, so I do run it hotter for that reason, just to burn off impurities in the oil. Um, but yeah, I do actually on a hotter days I have slight detonation. So only when I'm really romping on it, you know, that I I, I have to bring it back. You know, at least I want to bring it back to about 24 degrees at wide open throttle. So what I'm thinking about doing is, it, it's obviously not my car. This is on my desk computer. But I'm thinking out of maybe like around, let's say I might bring it down because I don't know if it's really temp too much related here. I might bring this down. Two degree, I say three, or no, sorry, negative three, negative three, negative three. Let's see if that works. All right, so negative three. So that's the slope. Um, maybe at two. Well, maybe I'll do two, negative two, and see how that works. Not go extreme. Maybe even negative one, and then maybe here I might go a negative three. If it, I, I, if. It would only ever get this hot if my cooling fan wasn't working. Let's see. Sorry, negative. Actually, at that at 240, I should be way uh, negative. Let's see. I don't know about 10, but let's see that. No, that's negative 5. Negative 5. All right, so that's one way of controlling detonation. I mean, I could actually just bring the whole thing back two degrees and not even worry about it. But I feel like I'd be losing horsepower at the, when I'm running cooler, you know, um, because that it doesn't, I don't get any detonation down when it's cooler. So only when I've actually been idling for a long time, let's say at a stoplight, and then I romp on it, then I might get some detonation. Um, pinging detonation. I don't think it's, I mean, I, I don't, my, my car is naturally aspirated right now, so it's not, and I have lower compression pistons, but I am running 87 octane gas. So I'll try that. Um, but another cool thing too is besides the coolant temperature, I also want to do this for the air intake temperature. So there's a, there's a little sensor that's actually on the intake manifold 
that basically measures the, the temperature coming in into the actual engine. And I've been keeping an eye on my, my gauges. And I'm thinking at around 160. Um, maybe like about right here. I might bring this down negative two. You know, I, it might just be easier just to do by hand here. Negative two, and then kind of get like a slope maybe. Because at, at about 160, I want to start taking timing out of it. So right there, it'll be about one. I mean, I'll just stay at three. I mean, it should never get that hot, but I mean, it'd only get this hot if I was like in the desert or someplace like that where it's super, super hot. So I think starting at two, because usually my range is right in this range. I'm not, I'm not here at the beach. So this is usually my range right here. Um, the only time it ever gets to 160 is if I, on a hot day and I'm on island for a long, long time. But, um, uh, all right. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. That's a pretty cool feature though. And this is kind of one of the reasons why I chose Holly over using the factory computer, because I wouldn't be able to do this with the factory ECU. I could maybe do it like with a chip tuner, but it's a pain in the ass to do that. So, um, I just wanted this, couldn't be able to control this stuff, you know? And it's, I mean, this is awesome software, you know, it's, it's really easy to use. It's all graphical. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and, and do that. So I got one more thing I want to do too, but I'll show you that in another video. Um, but, uh, all right, cool. I mean, that's pretty cool. I can mod tweak the timing based on certain criteria. So awesome. Hopefully this helps somebody.